Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. My name is Tom and in this How-To I'll be showing you how to create both users and groups in shared services as well as how to provision groups and add users to those groups. To begin, you're going to need to log into the Shared Services console as I've done here. First, we're going to go ahead and create some users. Go ahead and expand out your user directory, your native directory, and then right click on Users and click New. This will bring up the new user creation wizard. I'm going to go ahead and give my username a password. and then I'll click Save. You have the opportunity here to also give this person a first and last name, a brief description, as well as an email address. As you can see here, it confirms that my user was created. I'll go ahead and create another. Click Save, and then click OK. I'm going to now confirm that I created those two users by looking at all the users in the system. As you can see here, both Hobson and John A. were created in the system. I'm now going to create a group. Go ahead and right click on Groups and then New. Now since both Hobson and John A. are advanced planners, I'm going to go ahead and name this group Advanced Planners. and click Next. I'm going to bypass the group members and also bypass the user members screen and click Save. As you can see here, Group Advanced Planners was created. I'll click OK and then search all my groups to ensure that this group was created. As you can see here, Advanced Planners was created. Now it's time for me to provision the Advanced Planners group. Go ahead and right click and move down to provision. As you can see here, I've been brought to a window within Shared Services where I can go ahead and provision available roles to the Advanced Planners group. So let's go ahead and assign some various roles to my Advanced Planners group. First and foremost, I'm going to let them plan an application. So I'm going to go ahead and give them rights to plan the sample plan application, as well as gain access to manage task lists. Additionally, I'd like them to view some reports in Workspace, so I'll give them rights here to view Workspace reports. Once this is complete, I'm going to navigate down to here and click Save. And I'll get a provisioning summary that confirms that I gave them viewer rights to reporting and analysis objects, as well as the ability to plan and manage some task lists in the sample plan application. I'll click OK. So now my advanced planners group is provisioned, but I don't have any users as members of that group yet. So I'm going to go ahead and right click again on my advanced planners group and navigate to Properties before moving over to the User Members tab. From here, I'll look at all of my users, and I'll assign both Hobson and John A. as users to this group. I'll click Save, and we can see here that the Group Advanced Planners has been modified, and those two users have been added to the group. So in short, what we did here is we added two users, both Hobson and John A. We added a group called Advanced Planners, provision the advanced planners group to have some different roles and then we added our two users Hobson and John A to the group. 
Thanks for joining, and please visit our PA channel for other videos on enterprise performance management and business intelligence solutions.